Hi guys, so today I'm just posting another Inktober kind of time lapse video. Um, I actually filmed this on the 20th, but um, I decided to take a bit of a break from Inktober and that included editing videos. So um, I just I decided to take a break just because I was feeling very stressed out with it. I just um, I think I was just kind of losing the whole point of it for me which is to enjoy myself and improve I didn't feel like I was doing any of the things I didn't like what I was producing and I just wasn't I just wasn't feeling it I wasn't enjoying myself anymore so I thought I'd take a complete break for a couple days which turned into over a week and um, I'm kind of debating whether I should do the last three days I think I, I think I probably will but anyway I was also um, a bit frustrated with the materials as well because I was um, when I was diluting my ink for ink washes it would have this very kind of granulating effect I mean we'll see it later when I start to add the washes on this drawing but um yeah it was really frustrating me I wasn't sure if it was the materials or if it was me maybe I was doing something wrong I thought um because it was Windsor and Newton Ink I thought they're quite a reputable company so I don't think their inks would like be that bad but anyway so I finally decided to Google it, which I would recommend if you're having art problems, just Google it because I guarantee someone in the world has had that exact problem. But um, yeah, it turns out that when you use tap water to dilute inks, sometimes the minerals and the like chemicals in the tap water can cause the pigments to um, what's it called? The pigments to like separate or come together or, or something. It causes them to do something, which causes the granulation. So. They recommended to get some distilled water, which is what I did. I bought some, which was actually fairly cheap. I think it was only like £2.50 for like a little bottle. Anyway, no, not £2.50. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So yeah, the point is it worked. So um, yeah, it was an easy fix. I mean, probably a lot of problems for um, things like that can be fixed fairly easily. So it's worth just giving them a little Google if you're having like a little bit of a technical difficulty so yeah um so the inspiration behind this kind of haunted house themed this is what it is kind of wanted to do like a creepy haunted house was um i saw a series of inktober videos by a youtube artist that i quite like her name is mini small and um she did like a the whole inktober with haunted houses and then they were all quite different surprisingly and then i just thought to myself oh i might try to do haunted house because i never really do houses so i usually do like people or animals stuff like that so i thought oh i might do a house i might do a haunted house It'd be creepy very halloweeny and i actually like the idea of having a theme throughout the whole of inktober maybe like telling a story or something so i think i might do that next year i might start thinking about what kind of um theme I want to do um but anyway uh, I think despite my issues with the ink it actually turned out all right I think for a drawing like this the kind of granulation actually worked in my favor because it kind of give it a little gritty look I quite liked it uh, I think I'll leave the voice over at that I don't really want to talk your ear off and chat through the whole video so um thanks for watching and I hope you like it see you next week
this is the final result um hope you guys like it if you want to see more videos from me then please like and subscribe